What's up, everyone? Welcome to PH3. <laughs> so, um, obviously, PH3 has dropped on bodybuilding.com. You guys have got the chance to look at it. Um, some of you maybe haven't, but if you ha have, have not, get over there, take a look at it. Uh, I spent a lot of time putting this together. So, I'm going to kind of give an overview of the program who it's for um, and why it was created so people always ask me how I train uh, because I look like a bodybuilder but I'm strong like a powerlifter <laughs> so a lot of people some people say you know I don't give a darn about strength I, I just care about um, you know looking a certain way and that's fine and some people say I don't give a darn about how I look I just want to be really strong and that's fine too but I find that most people want both. Um, so, and don't get me wrong, there's no, you can build muscle lifting really light weights, but not very much fun in my opinion. Um, I get, I have a lot more fun lifting heavy stuff. And there is the principle of progressive overload that for you to progress, you have to lift more weights over time. I mean, especially as a natural bodybuilder, if you don't see those weights going up over time, now you may never squat 500 pounds or, or whatever it is, but if you don't see those weights progressing over the arc of your training career, it will be very hard to make progress. So I have always trained with a strength training component and a bodybuilding component. And many of you saw that in the power hypertrophy adaptive training, fat. And a lot of people will see what I'm doing now with daily undulating periodization. They'll go, oh, so you think that fat stuff is crap. No, I don't think it's crap. It's not linear periodization. It's a very good, very good system of programming. What I want to emphasize today to you before we get started is that pH3 is a form of daily undulating periodization. Daily undulating periodization is not a program. It is a system of programming, okay? Daily undulating periodization is a program like flexible dieting is a specific diet, okay? PH3 is a platform of training. It is an introduction for you to daily undulating periodization, okay? This is not to say that everyone should squat three times a week, that everyone should bench press three times a week. No, Th this is just one form. If you're somebody, for example, let's say you're very advanced and you're squatting five times a week, and, and then that's something that you've worked up to over the arc of your training career, I don't think you should drop back to three times a week. And by the same token, if you're only squatting once a week or less than once a week for many people, I don't recommend doing this program. You're gonna hurt yourself, okay? This program is for advanced trainers, all right? And the way we determine that is we have put a Wilkes score calculator into the program. Now, what's a Wilkes score? Uh, so you take your big three lifts, your, your squat, bench press, and deadlift, and you plug them in. And then you plug in your body weight, it'll give you a Wilkes score. You should be at least a 300, in my opinion, before you start this. Now, obviously, I can't come to your home and say, no, you're not doing this. But... It's, it's, very, it's a very advanced program for somebody who has only been lifting for a few years. I would recommend holding off. Um, you, wanna, you want to work up your volume over time, but understand that you should progress volume appropriately. And jumping from, say, one time a week squatting to three times a week squatting, or one time a week bench pressing to three times a week bench pressing, is not an appropriate increase in volume, okay? You should work up to that over time, all right? You don't wanna jump the process. Just like we don't wanna jump, drop calories too low when we start dieting, okay, because your metabolism will adapt, you don't wanna press up volume too high because your volume threshold will get set very high. So once you plateau, it's gonna take even more volume to progress and now that becomes a problem. So again, and if you just jump up your volume that high, you're probably gonna hurt yourself. So I, I don't recommend it. Please, please, if you're somebody, if you want to work up to this program, 
and you're only like say bench pressing, squatting, all that sort of stuff once a week, please at least give yourself eight to 12 to 16 weeks of squatting, bench pressing, a minimum of twice a week, okay? At least that. So let's, let's cover what's a Wilk score. A Wilk score is a, a way to determine a cross strength, relative strength relative to your body weight. Now, why can't we just say, well, three times or 10 times body weight, five times body weight, whatever? Because those aren't appropriate because um, lighter lifters will always have better numbers in terms of relative to body weight uh, and in terms of a pure body weight or weight lifted per pound of body weight. And that part of that is due to the relationship that as you expand in terms of your surface area versus the volume of your body, the volume of your body goes up by a, a cubed factor or I'm sorry, yeah, a cubed factor, whereas your surface area only goes up squared. Okay. It's part of the reason that it's not appropriate just to assume that somebody's a certain body weight, that they're like, if somebody weighs twice as much, that they'll have twice the metabolic rate. That's not appropriate. They won't have twice the metabolic rate. So it's the same, it's a, not only the same thing, but similar thing with strength. Okay. So we use a Wilkes score to determine what actually is kind of across different body weights relatively strong. Okay. All right. So that being said, how do you get started with the PH3 trainer? Well, I recommend testing your one rep max to find out where you are, okay? Uh, it is a percentage-based program with elements of RPE in it. Now, if you don't want to test your one rep max, you can still do this. You can use an estimated one rep max, but the closer to your one rep max you get, the more precise the program is going to be. Now. I really recommend watching the tutorial and testing your one rep max, understanding how to do it, how to do it safely, all those sorts of things. Now, let's go to questions. I, I'm getting a lot on pH three. First off, um, substituting exercises. I have a lot of people say, Lane, should I do conventional or sumo deadlift? Do whichever one you want. <laughs> Either one will work. Um, or they'll say, Lane, uh, can I do front squats? Sure, you can do front squats. Daily undulated periodization does not mean squat, bench press, deadlift. Okay, I, I've seen, I've seen countless coaches say, "Yes, I'm doing the DUP," and you know they say a DUP is squatting, bench pressing, and deadlifting three times a week. If they say that, they don't know what it actually is. Okay, it's a system of programming. You could do DUP for reversed arm curls, okay? You're undulating the repetition schemes. You're undulating the phases, okay? So, what we're choosing to do is the big three. One, because I'm a power lifter, so I like those. Two, you get a lot of bang for your buck with those exercises. You get a lot, you're gonna cover a lot with just squatting, bench pressing, deadlifting, okay? Those have a lot of muscle activation. But we've also included accessory work, okay? But if you want to sub an exercise, there's no reason you can't do it, okay? There's no reason you can't do that. Somebody say, I, have, I, I can't squat, I can back squat. Or, I'm sorry, I can't squat, I can front squat. Okay, do front squat. I say, I, I can't, I don't want to bench press, I want to incline press. Okay, well then do incline press, okay? I prefer the big three, all right? I, I think they're, 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 they're great exercises. People told me when I started powerlifting it was going to ruin my physique, and that never happened. My physique got better. <laughs> so, but we do have some exercises, some accessory work to fill in the gaps that is missed by, uh, or not as targeted by the big three. So, with that, let's talk about, um, with some of the accessory work, you're gonna notice we have what we use, what's called RIR, which is repetitions in reserve. So for example, it may say uh, arm curls, eight, to eight, 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 eight reps uh, to RIR. Okay, let's just use that for example. So that means that you wanna do eight reps and you have two repetitions in reserve, okay? So that would be like, a 10 rep max, 
Okay, so you're doing eight reps and you're leaving two in reserve. You can do two more, okay? People go, why would you do that? Well, one, if you train to evolve, if you train to failure all the time, let's take an example, okay? Let's, let's look at something like a bench press. Let's say you took your first set of bench press to absolute failure. And let's say that that was 10 reps, absolute failure. With that same weight, what could you do the next set? Maybe five, maybe, okay? What could you do the set after that? Maybe two or three? Pretty soon you're getting down to just where you can only do singles because you're so worn out from failure, okay? Failure is such an exhausting uh, thing when you do it, when you do it to failure. So, what, how now, but what could you do if you just did sets of eight? You could probably do them darn near indefinitely, right? So you can build a lot of volume that way. And we're still going to use elements of failure in this program. So you get the benefits of volume and the benefits of failure. That's why we use the RIR scale. A lot of people prefer the RPE scale. I like RIR. It's just a little bit more intuitive for me. Okay? So pay attention to the RIRs. Listen, if you're supposed to do a two and it ends up being a one, you only had one extra rep, uh, okay, right? But you want to be mostly as close as you can get to those RIR numbers. Why so little failure in the program? That's going to be another question. Somebody already, Lane, I did the first squat day and it was easy. It's an intro week. It's supposed to be pretty easy, okay? You, you're, for most people, this is going to be increasing the volume and frequency at which they do these lifts. You need to get your body accustomed to handling that volume and frequency. If you just jump in right to the program, you're going to be so sore that when you go to do your next session, uh, you're going to perform like crap and likely injure yourself, and I don't want that. Do the intro week as in the program. If it's too easy for you, at the end of the second week when you rep test, when you do your AMRAPs, when you do your plus set, okay, they're all the same thing, when you do your plus set, if you do a lot of reps on your plus set, it's going to adjust that weight up higher for you, okay? It's an auto-regulating program, okay? It adapts and it adjusts to you, all right? Now, next question. BFR, blood flow restriction. Why did I choose that? I like BFR because, one, it allows you to get a lot of volume in a short period of time. Two, it's very easy on your joints because you're using very light weight and you get an awesome pump. Okay, so if you haven't used BFR before, I'm going to provide some links to articles that you can look up and read about. Uh, there's also a little bit of information on the, on the PH3 trainer on bodybuilder.com. Um, but please read the articles, please watch the, the videos, they will help you understand it better. Okay, don't just jump in and assume you know everything. And please don't ask me questions about BFR and how to do it, etc. Et I've put all the information out there. And yes, it is safe based on the available data we have. There have been thousands and thousands and thousands of people who have done it in a clinical setting, and there have been no negative health outcomes that I'm aware of. Uh, finally, well, another question I've been getting is, what if it doesn't fit my schedule? So for example, day one, you're supposed to do this. Day two, you're supposed to do this. So switch the days around, okay? So I said, I can only work out uh, Monday through Friday. Okay, so just do them all back to back to back. It's going to take a little bit to get used to. Definitely do that intro week. Maybe do the intro week twice to get adjusted to it. But you can do that. Okay. So, well, I can't train on, on Tuesday. Okay, well, then put that workout somewhere else. Okay. The most important thing is for you to get all the workouts in during the week. Okay. That's it. However you have to get those done, you can do. So, myself, what about um, doing it two-a-days? And I'll do, you know, squat in the morning, bench press in the evening. Okay, go for it. Totally fine. No reason you can't do that. Okay? So whatever allows you to get those workouts in is going to be the most important thing. Okay? So that's all I got for now. I'll probably do more of these videos as PH3 goes along and uh, we have more questions that come up and, and, and we get to see people's uh, PRs. Please, as you're, as you're doing your journey on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook, hashtag PH3 trainer. Uh, and also, uh, just obviously, we, we got gotta sell stuff, right? So <laughs> uh, check out my new line, Carbon. 
carbon prep, carbon recover, have been designed with these sorts of training in mind. Um, all these ingredients in these two supplements are things I've been using for over a year now to help me uh, prep and recover from these training sessions. People a lot of times will ask, you know, how do you how do you do this stuff? Well, you know, part big part of it is proper programming. Big part of it is nutrition, and there's nutrition information on the PH3 trainer, okay? And a big part of it is also making sure that you recover as optimally as possible, okay? Now, how much do supplements help with that? It's a drop in the bucket when you compare it to proper programming and nutrition, but there are some supplements that can help, and I've designed Carbon Prep and Carbon Recover to help you in this process. So, if you want to go check out Carbon, please do so. It's available exclusively at bodybuilding.com. You can also get the shirts now are available, which is very cool. So um, thank you guys. Uh, looking forward to, to catching your journey. Uh, for those of you who have done fat, uh, power hypertrophy adaptive training, and you liked it, you're going to love this. All right, guys. I'll check you later.